feet just outside here at the park, we'll squat down nice and low, stretch up nice and long. Just to get the body moving to start. With these, you're not looking for tons and tons of repetitions, just plenty of range of motion, getting all the big parts of the body moving, getting the body ready to work. Keep your nose going. Hands got pretty much freezing over the last week. So we will make sure there's a decent wall up in here. Make sure the muscles are the wall. Keep all that wall ready to work before we get into the main part. And relax off. Now you're going to lunge in, twist over your forward knee, and just alternate which leg you're stepping into. Work through those. Keep your nose going. Stepping in, dipping down, twist over that front knee. When you twist, make sure you're not just looking over your shoulder as you twist. Make sure you're fully rotating that upper body to turn, turn it to your chest left or turn it to your chest right, depending on which way you go. Even out on those. Next one, I'll show you from the side arms so you can see. Toes forward, light bend in the knee, or as much movement through the spine as you can get rolling down to the floor. And then start up into a wide shape. So a little bend in the knee, and roll forward, get as much movement in the back as you can, getting down to those toes. Start up into that wide shape. So get some movement from the lower back, middle back, and the upper back as well. All those muscles that normally stay quite dormant when you a little bit more sedentary lifestyles, we want to get moving through those. So while we're on lockdown and once we're stuck inside, those muscles are really common. We get a little bit of useless and locks up. Let's so get everything moving again. If anyone hasn't heard yet, I believe we are open as normal again on Wednesday. So this time next week, should be back to normal. Bar any horrible moves coming over. And roll back top there, last one. Arms up straight, palms down, draw back, turn your palms up, and just alternate that top back. So work your way through those, keeping that move going. So these can go a little bit higher, so these can go a little bit long. The important part is turning those palms up as your arms draw level with the body just to really get those fibers moving through the chest and shoulders. No, well, where's mommy? Keeping those going. And relax off there. Right, make sure you've got drinks with you. Make sure you've got a bit of space with you. Around you, not with you. And what we'll do is we're going to go through the same format as we did before. So starting on station one, we've got six stations. We're going to do two rounds of each, each round being one minute long. And rest rates are going to be one between 20 and 30 seconds. Get the Six, take a long rest break and then we'll work from six back down to one. It'll make more sense as we go through it. But first round, what we're going to look for is dead back to work. It's really good to get a space in this. What we're going to look for is hands down, feet back, the way the floor, hands up, hands on. Slide up into your side. So just one more side. 
hands come down, feet go back to the floor, hands go up, hands go back on, and slow down. So, let's get you ready. Going to be going into that first round, one minute of work. And that's going to start in three, two, one. Here we go. Straight in, one minute of work. So, dead man first, he's going all the way to the floor every round. Remember, hit the floor, take the hands off, put the hands back on, and then explode it. This is everyone's least favorite exercise. We're halfway there for the first round. Fifteen seconds left. seconds to relax and then we're going to go through that same round one more time and you won't have to worry about that until the very end of the class. That's halfway through your recovery time. And in three, two, one, back in we go, dead man's burping. Them, keep your breathing controlled and push yourself to get the whole way through. Just on the halfway point. Keep it going, as many good reps you can get done. Don't sacrifice form for more reps. Three, two, one. Catch your breath. Next one we're going to go into 10 high knees, working your arms and legs just as much as each other. One, two, 10 high knees, one touch. If you've got any worries about your knees or ankles, anything like that, you're going to take my knees. One sumo squat. So you can do either one. It can be 10 high knees with one top jump, or 10 high knees with one sumo squat. In three, two, one. Here we go. Arms and legs both working hard. Add that top jump in if you're confident. If you can't step out, you can do that sumo squat. Can you get this more time? No. No one will lift in weight, excuse me. Keep the effort, keep the movement, you're over halfway there. Keep pushing the whole way through. <laughs> Two, 
to make sure you are the arms just as much as the legs, pumping those arms as you go through the high knees. Just get halfway there. That movement going, keep the effort the whole way, and then two commanders in front of the ten. Final 15 seconds, many good reps you can get done, and we're looking for lots of reps that don't sack fossil fuel to get more. Want to burn the core, burn from the shoulders with this one. In three, 
Two. One. Relax off there. 20 seconds before we go again. And man, climbers with your two commandos going straight back in. In three, two, one. And we go straight back in. Same effort, same focus. you can work out and then stick with it. Don't ease off as we get further in. Try and keep that same effort level throughout. Just get halfway. Keep the effort, keep learning through. Many good reps you can get done for three, two, one. Relax off that last section. We've got to get through two rounds of these before the break. Five jumping jacks, nice and light on the feet. 
20 seconds. Get a rhythm for it, get the breathing under control and push through. Loads of reps, nice high tempo. Get some recovery time in. Two of those press up toe taps. 
without squat thrust now. Just a reminder, drop down into your press up, press up, touch your toe. Or if you're going through your knees, drop down into your press up, press up, touch your knee. And then four squat thrusts after four alignments. Getting ready. In three, two, one, and we go. Four press up toe taps, four squat thrusts. That's the order we're looking for. Remember, you can drop to your knees for the press ups with the men knee taps instead of toe taps. This is your least favourite round, really just go for it, because you won't have to worry about it again. There's your halfway point. Thank 
the way, that's a third of the way there. Stay in rhythm and keep control of that breathing. We've just hit your 40 second mark. That gives you 20 seconds to go. Don't ease off, keep pushing. You've only got one round to go after this one. Three, two, one. Relax off there. 30 seconds to breathe. And then we're on to Dead Man's Burpees for the final round. Get as much recovery time as you can before those Dead Man's Burpees. Just remember you're putting your hands down, feet back, all the way to the floor. Explode up. Hands off and hands on when you get to the ground. In three, two, one, here we go. Feet back, drop all the way to the floor, hands off, hands back on, explode up into your start up at the top. Get the way through. So we are going to go for one extra round of Dead Man's Burpees in 20 seconds time. So one more round of Dead Man's Burpees. Exact same as what we just did. This will be the absolute 100% the last round of the class. So we're going absolutely flat out, absolute max effort, burn out, all the energy you've got left. And we're going to go into that one in three, two, one. In we go. One last round of Dead Man's Burpees just to use up that bit of extra time. Just to burn Whatever energy you've got left. You work at 100% of your effort level. You do not need any energy left after this. You're going to get a breather, and it's just going to be a stretch now. That's all that's needed. And you've got just over 30 seconds of hard work left. This will be the last of the lockdown circuit classes. So really make the most of it. Absolutely blitz it. For just over 20 seconds more. <laughs> 10 seconds left. For three, two, one, relaxing off there. Get your breath back, guys. Let yourselves recover. I'm just going to give you a minute or so to breathe, and then we'll stretch off. Unmute your, oh, Unmute your mics, because that's all the actual exercise done. And just catch your breath, grab your drinks, and then we'll get ready to stretch out. How are we all feeling? Unmuted. Proper heavy breathing. Someone definitely went max effort on that last one. Hello. Yeah. All right, guys. Breathe and recover. And then when we're all ready, we're going to stretch down. Just make sure everyone's good. Yep, 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 yep. Right. So with the stretch down, what we'll do is we'll do it all from standing to make it a little bit easier so everyone can do it. First one, legs nice and straight, toes forward, hip width apart. Drop those hips back. Let your head hang down, reach with your toes. Doesn't matter if you can reach your toes as long as those legs are nice and straight. 
the uh, stretch of the hamstring is a little bit of the lower back. And then a big breath out, bless you. Reach for the ceiling, hips all the way from your heels, take this side back and bend. And relax. Quads. You can grab the wall, grab a table, grab a chair, anything you need for a bit of balance. And swap over. Same on the other side. And relax off there. Hug both your arms out. Dip your head off from the back. Push your shoulders away from yourself from your chest into your body. Shoulders back, try and meet your elbows together behind the back. And then shoulders straight up across your body, looking over the shoulder, you're stretching. Yeah. Stop in, same on the other side. See, like chattering, I'm not looking in. And relax off there. Triceps, hand on the back of the opposite shoulder, cushion the elbow and follow the wrist. And swap in, stay on the other side. And relax off completely there. 